Welcome to Hey EW. I am RJ City, and my guest is at the top of the list of great wrestlers, alphabetically, Arn Anderson. Hey. How about talent wise? That too? That too, I'd say, certainly. Let's add that in to the lead in. Alphabetically and talent wise, he is A, number one. Arn Anderson, hey. That's the reason I don't call myself Xavier or something like that. <clears throat> okay. That would put me at the ass end of the list, wouldn't Right, it? the ass end. Stick with what we got. Ass also, though, starts with an A. Yeah. Something to think about, something to think Unless about. Unless it's flat, and then we don't. No. We call it two can biscuits or something. We don't call it an ass, right? But when you say we, you mean us? Are you including me in the we? General population. The general, okay, all right. You were born in Rome, Georgia, the yes. other Rome. They say Rome was built in a day, but how long did it take to build Rome, Georgia? 36 minutes. Amazing, amazing. They just put up a couple of barns and they said, here we are? Hey, a couple of trailers, a uh, little pine for people to wash or go swimming, mm. depending on what day of the week it was. Right. Tuesday it's a bath, <laughs> Sunday it's recreation. I will say though, Rome, Georgia, the one drawback is it doesn't have the vomitoriums that the old Rome has. Do you think you want to bring that back? It's a vomitorium. Well, you eat a bunch of food, and then you're like, oh, and then you go, blah, and then you come back, and you see you eat again. It's breakfast all over again. Okay. Yeah, I usually pull up just short of throwing up. Mm. Just a rule. That's, that's your break. The Romans? Yeah. Maybe not. No. No. Well, you can't do as they do, I guess. You are on the top of the list of notable people from Rome, Georgia. It's got to feel good. Do you know who else is on the list? Um, Ray Donaldson. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And? I played inside linebacker right beside Ray in high school. Did you know is, that? Please stick to the wrestling. It's all over the place here. Okay. Thank we you. We don't want to go back to high school football. No, no. We don't want to go back that far. But uh, who else is on the notable list is Ellen Wilson, Woodrow Wilson's first wife. Did you ever have a kingship with her? I'm older than hell. But I did not have a crack at Woodrow Wilson's wife mm. before him. Not quite that old. Right. Oh, it's very democratic. You do you. agree that I'm not that old. No, you're not that old. However, may I say, Ellen Wilson, I think she would have liked you. She hot? She had a certain joie de vie. Well, what? Next question. Ah, oh, you're throwing that, that international language. Yes, yes. That. yes. That, this is called doing an international. Rome, Georgia, they filmed a lot of movies there. Do you know what movie they filmed in Rome, Georgia? They filmed Sweet Home Alabama there. It's a little disrespectful, isn't it? Sweet Home Alabama. Reese That's Witherspoon? The, uh, yeah, I was going to say the, yeah. the blonde yeah. girl. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, so I thought you were going to say something derogatory. I guess that was an acceptable movie, right? Well, but they're saying, oh, this looks like Alabama. Then why didn't they call it Win in Rome? It's right there. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Well, hey, listen, it's not my job to name the movies. Yeah. Maybe you got enough stroke, you can get that job. Let's talk about your career, shall we? Oh, that's going to take a minute. All right. Early in your career, you wrestled as Jim Veritoso? One time. Well, you don't look like a Veritoso to me. Was it like an Italian? Veritoso, Verderoso. Verderoso. Okay, so and it was an Italian game. You came out and said, hey, no. I'm a Jim of Verderoso, that kind of thing. I was Marty Lundy from Rome, Georgia. Mm -hmm. Showed up at TV, Atlanta TV, and somebody just said, well, we're just going to call you Jim Verderoso. I said, I don't give a shit if you call me ham and eggs. Just let me get out there on TV and get my ass kicked. Mm. And do you think you'll ever do Jim Verderoso again? Uh, he's in an urn. Ah, may he. We went ahead and buried him in a grave anyway. Not so it's like double coated. Got it? Follow that? Oh, I understand now. Yes, yeah. this is an interview I'm going to have to watch back again and go, I got this one. Get you a sip of wine before you see this back. Thank you. Yes, sir. You also used to wrestle wearing a Panama hat. Yeah. People saw those pictures and they loved the hats. You don't wear them anymore. Why not? They didn't love the hat at the time. Mm. People didn't like me at the time. Right. I'm like that, getting back to the wine, that bottle that you forgot about that's mm -hmm. been in a wine cellar. Yes. 42 years and suddenly you go, damn, that's got some worth. Mm -hmm. Let's taste that. At the time... 
Not so much. They said, who's this punk with the hat? Yeah, you know, I, I wasn't marketable. I didn't have a great body. I wasn't, you know, a great talker to begin with. I was just a regular guy that was breaking into the business, and nobody thought I was going to be a big shot. Uh, and I don't know that I ever achieved the big shot status, but I did. I did have a body of work that I would at least say people would say I was steady. I was regular, not to mean do you have, regular. Do you have IBS? Not to mean that regular. Okay. But you, on top of that body of work, you have a nice hat. You were a part of an infamous group, and I don't think legally we can say it, so let's just call it the Fab Four. Do you think you were the Lennon or the McCartney? I would say, since I'm still around, mm. I would say McCartney. It's a good one. That was an easy one. Yeah, I'd say so. Like, That's smart. Yes. Lob, lob me one out there, didn't you? Yeah. Big old softball. Now, who was in the group? Don't I, actually. Don't you know what? Let me guess. You. Brilliant. Paul Roma. Wait a minute. I can't remember the rest. Let's move on. What I liked about the group was that the hand signal was predicated on you counting number one with your index finger. Because if you were one of those people who went one, two, three, then the, the hand signal would have been this. Would have looked ridiculous. Would have looked like you were missing a pinky. You that wouldn't have gone anywhere. You screwed that all up. Look here. That's it. Yeah, but I'm saying if you were one of those counting people that who counted like this. Exactly. That's my point. What's the matter with your hand? That's my point. I'm saying it's good it wasn't like this. It could have been like this. Would have made no sense. Were you a meat cutter too? I... I've cured some salami in my day. Yeah, I bet you have. In a 1989 episode of Regis and Kathy Lee, you were not on, but Bobby Heenan was. He mentioned you and Tully. Regis said, and I quote, very good looking. I am. Do, but do you have any recollection of that? Did you know Regis? Did you flirt a little back and forth? We might have had a moment. Mm -hmm. Regis loves me. Yeah. Most grown ass men love me. Mm -hmm. Women, not so much. Kids despise me. Grandmothers will take a stick to me. They In what a, way? A, well, not what you're thinking. Oh, it's okay. Cross the back. Ooh, yeah, no. Wooden cane. Those are thick. Those are heavy. Those hurt like a son of a bitch. Yeah. And they said, go back to Panama with your stinking hats. Go back to that hat. That hat I loved really it. resonates with you, don't yes. it? Yes. I said, this man's speaking my language. I understand him. Now. I knew you'd dig it. Brain busters, spine busters. Why was busting the verb du jour? Uh, it just had a, had a ring to it, wouldn't you say? I think so. Like yeah. Ghostbusters? Did you feel a king? Do you say that's a good title for no, a movie? Not no, so much. But I like Ghostbusters the movie. Good. All of them? There's been just quite a few. Really just the watched. First one. How many of them were there? It's like four now. Four? four? Yeah. Where have you been? Pick up a newspaper. <laughs> I feel like a ghost myself. Let's talk about your son. Which one? Well, Brock. Okay. He reminds me of a young Jim Verderosa, wouldn't you no. say? No. No? No. Now, well, this is the thing. Coaching him, do you want him to follow in your footsteps, or do you want him to avoid the mistakes you feel like you made? Because uh, uh, I don't want to become my father. I'd like to do the opposite of whatever he did. Yeah, I would love for him to live his life. He's already got to step up on me. He's a college graduate. Okay, in today's world, you gotta be, gotta have that. Mm -hmm. Before I ever trained him for a minute, I made him sure he got a college degree. I want him to have his own style. I know he is a uh, very respectful young man to everyone in the locker room. He has grown up around respecting this business. I want him to have his own style, but if he steals a few things from his old man, that's okay. He like looks the hat? Like, like not the hat. Nah. Listen, we got to get past the hat. Okay, I'm sorry. So he should get a beret or something. He should experiment with maybe no, a bowler. No, no, he's still got hair. Okay. He don't need a hat. Okay. No bandanas. No. No berets. No. Who, do you, wear, you wear a beret. Uh, I've been known to put on a beret from time to time. What color? It's a mauve. A what? Why? A what? A mauve. Well, it's mauve? like a purplish mauve. Mauve. Okay, short. Sure. No, no. Mauve. 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 Listen to how nice it sounds. You're a different cat, aren't you? I am, and meow. 
Oh, no. Dog person. Dog person. I'll say. The Anderson family is an exclusive one. Some Andersons are in, some people want to be Andersons, but you don't let them in. I'm gonna list some famous Andersons, you tell me if they're in or out, okay? Pamela. Not anymore. Okay. Jillian. Jillian Anderson. Ah, she was on the, the Space Monster movie, wasn't she? It was a TV show, but sure. Okay. Mm, no. Richard Dean. Hell no. Okay, finally, Harry. Harry. Yeah, I like Harry. Okay, Harry who's, Anderson's who, in. Who's Harry? He was on Night Court. He was the judge. He did magic oh, tricks. No, no. You don't like magic? No, You're no. anti-magic. No, no. I just didn't give a shit about the show. No, oh, he had a fun Poor hat. Harry. Okay. All right. So, so that's no Andersons all across the board for you. Yeah, I mean, we got all the Andersons we need. Okay. You're self-sufficient. I understand. I would like to talk about a couple quotes of yours and ask you about them there. Quote. They send one of yours to the hospital, you send two of theirs to the morgue. One. To do, to do what? One, only one. So you send one? It's one for one. So I send one to the hospital, you would send one of yours to the morgue to do what? To have, see if my aunt is there? I might have overshot that one a little bit. Okay. You know, I think of the great mimes of our time. I think of Marcel Marceau. I think of Shields and Yarnell. And I think of Arn Anderson's gun. It feels like you have one. People believe it. It's, it's frightening. Do you have it on you right now? Do you watch Lethal Weapon movies? I've seen a few of them. You like them? They were okay. Okay. Um, there's places to put guns that aren't necessarily just you can see them mm -hmm. right away. Mm -hmm. Could be, could be not. Okay. You all right with that? See, yeah, I get I mean, you can't give it to me right now. We can't talk about it, show give it, it off. Give it to you. <clears throat> Damn, you're getting comfortable with me, aren't you? I, I have a beret, and it's Mauve, and meow. Yeah, Mauve beret. Do you declare it at the airport? Do you wear a, a male diaper? Well, I don't think it's, I don't know why you would gender a diaper. A diaper well, is a diaper. That mauve, that mauve beret is going to get somebody to knock shit out of you. Okay. So it's good to have a good it. deal to have a diaper. Yeah, thank you. Probably might not fit in a child's diaper, but grown men have them these days. Thank you. I do have smaller hips than you'd think. Uh, I know you don't want to give me your gun. However, I have a, a little gift for you. Did you load up a monster bong? It's a musket because I thought you were revolutionary. This is, the, this is a musket. I did to put this whole thing together. The problem about muskets <sighs> is if you shoot at somebody and miss, which they normally do, somebody's gonna have a chapped ass. Would you just take it and you can put it on your mantle or something, put it in the museum? I'm out of room for weapons right now. But thank, I appreciate the, the thought. No problem. This has been my interview with, with Arn Anderson. And to you, I say meow. Dog person. <laughs>